Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. I'm Justin with ExcelSmith. If you've been here before, welcome back. The Lambda function allows you to build amazing custom equations. Lambda is even more powerful when you pair it with the Name Manager. One drawback of the solution is that functions created in the Name Manager are only accessible within that specific workbook. In this video, we'll create a way for your awesome custom Lambda equations to be accessible from any new workbook. Let's get started. Let's take a look at our Lambda functions by selecting formulas from the ribbon, followed by Name Manager. We can see two existing Lambda equations. The first one calculates the area of a circle, and the other calculates the Pythagorean theorem. That's right, we're heading back to geometry class. Close the Name Manager dialog box and click in cell A1 to try out one of these equations. Start by typing an equal sign and then an underscore. I like using underscores at the beginning of my lambda equations so they are easily distinguished from the built-in functions. Let's select the Pythagorean function. To dust off the grade school math, the Pythagorean theorem allows us to calculate the hypotenuse of a triangle by entering the length of the other two sides. For more information on the Pythagorean theorem, consult your local library or Wikipedia. Anyways, our equation takes two parameters. For the first parameter, enter the number 3. Enter 4 for the second parameter. Pressing enter, we get the number 5, which is the length of the hypotenuse. This is great, but what's the amazing tip? I'm glad you asked. Our simple example contains only two lambda functions. Imagine you spent a long time building a collection of lambda equations. Let's see what happens when we open a new Excel file. Press Ctrl and N on a PC, or Command and N on a Mac. Head over to Formulas in the ribbon, followed by Name Manager. Well, that's disappointing. Our magnificent Lambda equations aren't here. That's because equations stored in the Name Manager are tied to either a specific sheet or a specific workbook. Thankfully, there's a better way. Let's close this empty workbook by pressing Ctrl and W on a PC, or Command and W on a Mac. We're back at our workbook containing our two Lambda functions. Next, we need to delete the equation in cell A1. We're left with an empty workbook that contains our two lambda equations. What we want to do is save this workbook as a template file. Press either F12 on a PC or Shift, Command, and S on a Mac to bring up the Save As dialog box. Give this file a meaningful name. I'll name mine simply Lambda Template. Next, and this is where the magic happens, change the file format from XLSX to XLTX. I'm saving my template to my desktop, but you can save it wherever it's convenient for you. I know, it doesn't look like much has changed. To see the power of a template file, we first need to close out of this workbook. Next, we need to reopen the template file by double-clicking on it from the desktop. In cell A1, type an equal sign and an underscore. Again, we see our two lambda equations. We'll pick the Pythagorean theorem equation again and enter the same values of 3 and 4, which results in the number 5. To see what all this work gave us, press Ctrl and S on a PC or Command and S on a Mac to save the file. Instead of simply saving our work, the template file opens the Save As dialog box with a new file name and a file format of XLSX. This is awesome. This means that as long as we start from our custom template, we will have access to all of our Lambda functions. Say we need access to another Lambda function. No problem. Start by pressing Cancel to get back to our template file. Next, select Formulas, then Name Manager. Click on New and add your new Lambda equation. To keep with our theme, we'll add the equation for calculating the area of a rectangle. Close the dialog box and select cell A1. Again, type an equal sign and an underscore. This gives us access to all three of our Lambda equations. Awesome! Press Escape a couple times to get out of the formula editor. Simply pressing Ctrl and S on a PC or Command and S on a Mac won't save this update into our template. To update the template file so that future workbooks have access to our new equation, we first select the existing template from the browser. Alternatively, you could set the file name to be the same as your template file. Next, from the File Format dropdown, select XLTX. Press Save and then Replace to overwrite our old template file with the updated version. We can now close this workbook. To confirm our update worked, double-click the template file on the desktop. In cell A1, you guessed it, type an equal sign and an underscore. How awesome is that? We have access to our new Lambda equation. Press Escape a couple times and then press Ctrl and S on a PC or Command and S on a Mac to open the Save As dialog box with a new file name and a file format of XLSX. 
We have seen how using templates gives us access to a running catalog of custom Lambda equations. Before I show you the super awesome, extra special bonus tip, if you're getting value from this video, let us know by pressing those like and subscribe buttons. It helps the channel and is greatly appreciated. Wouldn't it be nice if there was an easier way to get access to our template? Fortunately, there is. Both PC and Mac have folders that can be used to house template files. These folders are a little buried and require somewhat of a treasure map to find. I'll include the path to these folders for both Mac and PC in the description below. After moving the template file to the template folder, you may need to close and reopen Excel for it to recognize the new template. When we run Excel, we get the Open Templates and Recents screen. However, our template is not listed with the other templates. To see it, we simply need to click More Templates in the top right corner. There it is, right at the top with the default blank template. Double click the template to open a new workbook. One more time for old time's sake, select cell A1 and type an equal sign and an underscore. There they are, all of our wonderful handcrafted Lambda functions. Press Escape a couple times to get out of the formula builder. Like before, pressing Ctrl and S on a PC or Command and S on a Mac brings up the Save As dialog. We can name the file and press Save to get an XLSX file. In this video, we used quite a few keyboard shortcuts. Check out this video for a list of 10 of my most used keyboard shortcuts. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.